all you hear is, you see, you see, even they said you're wrong. You're f***ing wrong. Hey. Hey guys, welcome back to my Chanel. So if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. First of all, just go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It is currently 4.09 in the morning and I am filming for you guys. So just give me a thumbs up. Your girl's been working all day long, y'all, since last morning. I've been working. I've been working. All right. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up. That will help me out a lot. Also, if you guys do not know, I dropped a vlog literally earlier on today. Go ahead and check out that vlog, y'all. Honestly, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all and I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I love story times on my channel, but as much as I love story times, I'm a MA content creator. Hello, Kiri. Uh. I love creating content so I like to do weekly vlogs I like to do hair videos uh, makeup like I love all those different type of videos but I feel like I've given you guys story times a lot because that's what I love to do the most but I am about to get into my weekly vlogs so definitely check it out let me know how y'all like it i know a lot of you guys that come to my channel come to my channel to watch my story times but if you guys could please do me a favor check out the weekly vlogs and see if y'all like it and yeah i think y'all will like it i actually enjoy it my little followers who do watch my weekly vlogs they always say they like it so them there check it out that's why i posted two videos today for you guys and you guys also comment on the weekly vlogs and y'all let me know how y'all like it and also comment on the weekly vlogs and let me know what y'all would like to see more from me on those weekly vlogs because i am trying to uh, um evolve my channel i want my channel to be somewhat of a um a pit stop where you can get your story times where you can get your um weekend week in my life vlogs where you can get your workout with me because i am stay tuned guys i am going to be giving you guys workout videos soon i know you guys keep asking for it i need to get back into my schedule of working out again and then i'm gonna be able to give it to you guys I also want to get back into my um i just want to get back into a, the groove of dropping a whole bunch of different videos i love dropping story times for y'all but i want to drop other videos and i want support so please check it out y'all and yeah let me not ramble for too much longer let's get into the story time because i know that's why you guys are here I know that right here. so <laughs> Uh, speaking of speaking of workout speaking of workout I almost had to work 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 I almost had to work 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 it's in me honey work 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 I almost had to work somebody out at the gym and that's what this story time is about so let's get it started I have several gym story times y'all like I have several gym story times so yeah it's not a lot I don't have a lot of gym story times but I do have several so yeah we're gonna start off with this one okay so we are going to get started so let me give you guys a background and then I'm gonna get into what happened that day right so me and Chelsea were working out if you watching this hey girl <laughs> Me and Chelsea were working out, and me and Chelsea, we like to take pictures after our workouts. As you guys can see, the pictures that I just posted, it's this room in the gym that we go to that all the girls take pictures in. It's not just us. It's like this unspoken room where we all take pictures in. Now, this dressing room is the biggest dressing room. This dressing room is not the only dressing room in this in this um, locker room. There are four dressing rooms, but that dressing room is the biggest one. It's like a handicap stall. The rest of the dressing rooms are very, very small. They're literally only for dressing only. So literally those dressing rooms are for the girls who just want to go inside, change their outfits, and you know what I mean? and uh go and go work out those are not for the girlies who want to take pictures and no those dressing rooms are not the dressing room that i just showed you guys are for the girlies who want to go inside and take pictures and it's like an unspoken rule right the good thing about that dressing room is that when you lock the door it says on the outside locked so it will say locked 
and it will show red and when it's unlocked it will say unlocked and it will show green so it just lets you know like okay i can go in i can't go in so that dressing room is damn near always occupied there's always girls waiting there's like a bench that's right next to the dressing room there's always girls sitting there waiting to go in next to take pictures like i said before and i want to re-emphasize this because i know for a given fact it's going to be somebody in the comments that's going to try to rebuttal this story time i'm already knowing but i'm going to re-emphasize it over and over again it's like an unspoken rule at this gym that all of us girls use this dressing room to take pictures now am i saying that people only use it to take pictures only no people do use it to get dressed but people mainly use that dressing room to take pictures that's like the like that's like the main thing that people use it for right now people take forever in that dressing room like i know sometimes me and chelsea will be sitting there for like 20 minutes waiting for that shit and i know some people like y'all really sitting there waiting to take pictures yes like i'm sorry one thing about us like we gotta take our pictures now we do not take our pictures every time we go to the gym but for the most part we take our pictures we have to take our pictures like it's a must that we take our pictures you know what i mean and then on top of that me and Chelsea would be talking to each other. We'd be laughing with each other and everything. So by the time 20 minutes go by, we kind of forget like, oh shit, 20 minutes go by. But some of them girls be taking forever in there. Like some of them girls be taking a long time in there. It's like, dang, like what y'all doing? Like what are y'all doing in there? You know what I mean? So one day me and Chelsea, we went and worked out. And when I tell y'all the days that we get a good session in, the days that we get a great session in, baby, we got to take them pictures. You feel me? We got to pose pose <coughs> photo shoot pose bitch we gotta pose for the camera you feel me so me and chelsea we went to the locker room we went and seen the door the door said locked so of course we rolled our eyes we went and we sat down on the lock we, we went and sat down on, on the bench that was right next to the locker room and we just get to talking with each other like we're just talking we even forgot that we were waiting for the locker room we just start talking i don't even remember what we were talking about but we're just talking after a bit of me and chelsea talking we just start playing on our phone so i just start going on my um on my instagram and i think chelsea goes on her instagram too and we're just on our phone our own little world we we're not talking to each other at this point we're not really like you know what i mean like we're not really mingling with each other at this point we're just doing our own little thing so out of nowhere me and her just like kind of like it's like we both came to the realization at the same time me and her just kind of looked at each other and i was like chelsea am i tripping or have we been sitting here for like 20 minutes and Chelsea was like, yes, we've been sitting here for 20 minutes. Now, let me remind you guys. That day, we worked out so good. Like, when I tell you guys we worked out so good that day, we worked out so good that day. I was not and when i say was not i was not leaving that gym without getting my gym pictures that day i just was not leaving that gym without getting my gym pictures that day we worked out so good so i'm just looking like okay whoever is in this locker room what are they doing because we've been sitting here for 20 minutes like what's going on so at this point i'm literally looking at chelsea and i'm like what's going on like who is in there like who's changing what's going on like what's happening type shit so um chelsea's like i don't know what's going on but like that person needs to hurry up because i want to take my pictures and i'm like on the same page right so i'm like yeah like for real like i really want to take my pictures too like you know we had a good session like we want to take our pictures so about five minutes go by the person still hasn't came out y'all the person still hasn't came out y'all she still hasn't came out. So at this point, Chelsea's like, Irene, I'm about to go knock on that door. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Because I, I just started laughing. Like, I found it funny. Because I was like, wait, wait, wait. Don't knock on the door yet. Like, I didn't want her to knock on the door yet. I think at this point, it was like 25 minutes had went by. This person was still in the locker room, y'all. 25 minutes went by. And this person was still in the locker room. So I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Don't knock on the door. Give it like five more minutes. Give it like five more minutes. So Chelsea goes and she sits back down. Because mind you... When Chelsea said she was going to knock on the door, like, she stood up to get ready to go knock. And I was like, chill, chill, chill. Like, just give it five more minutes. And I'm laughing. Five minutes go by, y'all. This person is still in that locker room. By the time you come out of that locker room, God better be in there. 
telling us what our future is gonna be. That be that better be what's going on up in there. Cause if that's not what's going on up in there, I'm not gonna be happy with you. Cause what are you doing in a locker room for 30 minutes? I mean, what are you doing in a dressing room for 30 minutes? Like, what are you doing in a dressing room for 30 minutes? Like, what's going on in there? You know what I mean? So at this point, Chelsea's like, hey, I'm sorry, Irene. I'm about to go say something. Like, I don't care. So I'm like, go say something. So Chelsea goes and she knocks on the door. She's like, excuse me. So she knocks. Da, 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 da. No answer. Like, we don't hear nothing. Like, it's pure silence. So at this point, bitch, I'm thinking, did the bitch die? Like, bitch, I start getting worried. Bitch, I go from laughing to getting worried. Bitch, I'm like, I hope, I hope nobody died in there. Like, I, I don't hear nothing, y'all. Like, when I say nothing, not a peep. I'm talking, and mind you, the way this dressing room is set up, you cannot see the inside, but you can see the silhouette of somebody moving on in there. Like if somebody is moving in that dressing room, you can see the you can see their bodies moving up and down. Like you can see the silhouette. That's how the dressing room look. I don't see nothing. Like I don't see no silhouette. I don't see nothing. So at this point, I'm starting to be like, oh, like is somebody hurt? Did somebody fall and they can't get up? Like what's going on? You know what I mean? Nothing. So Chelsea look at me and I look at Chelsea and I'm just like, so Chelsea's like. And I'm just like, so Chelsea's like, and bitch, I'm just like, I'm tired of making them faces. Go ahead and knock again. So Chelsea go and she knocked. Da, 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 da. She's like, excuse me, excuse me. Like, who is anybody in here? Excuse me. Silence, like pure silence. So at this point, Chelsea turns to me and she starts laughing. So in the beginning, y'all, I was a little worried because I'm thinking like, I hope nobody's hurt in there. But when Chelsea started laughing, you know, I don't know about y'all, but y'all ever been around a friend that don't take nothing serious? Chelsea is one of them friends. She don't take shit serious. But when Chelsea started laughing, I started laughing. So Chelsea is laughing and I'm laughing with her. I don't even know why I'm laughing, y'all. If y'all ask me why I'm laughing, I won't even be able to even tell y'all. I'm just sitting there. Kee -kee 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 -kee. <laughs> I'm just over there laughing. Like, we're just giggling. So... She goes to me and she's like, girl, I don't know who in there, but they not answering. Like, and I'm like, did you see their silhouette? Because she went near the door and she's like, I didn't see no movement, no nothing. And I said, bitch, I hope nobody died in there. Like, we just talking and stuff. So I'm like, I don't know, bro. And then Chelsea's like, I don't know. I'm not leaving here without my gym pictures. Like, Chelsea's just talking. She's like, I'm not leaving here without my gym pictures. Like, our workout was too good today, Irene. Our workout was too good today. And I'm like, no, for real. Like, what is that person doing? And so... Chelsea go back to sit down. She's like, I'm going to give it two minutes and then I'm going to go back and knock on the door again. Two minutes go by. This person is still in that room, y'all. Now, y'all, it's a total of about 40 minutes that then went by that this person is still in that room. Now, I know somebody in the comment section going to be like, why was y'all sitting there waiting for all the minutes, for all the days, for all the nights, for the years? I don't know, y'all. I don't know why we was waiting, but we wanted them pictures. I ain't going to hold y'all. So... At this point, Chelsea goes and she knocks again. Excuse me, excuse me. Like, Chelsea's just yelling it at this point. Like, she's like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Like, is anybody in here? Like, is anybody in here? So, the girl finally answers. And she's like, yes, I'm in here. So, we're like, okay. So, I guess the girl's alive, I'm guessing. So, we're like, I'm looking at Chelsea. I'm just looking at her like. Like, what are you doing in there? Like, get the fuck out of there. You know what I mean? So, she's like, um, how long do you think, did you, like, how much longer do you think you'll be, be in there? And the girl just goes back to ignoring. Like, she just completely goes silent. She just completely goes back to ignoring. She just, like, you know, it's like she just ignores. So, Chelsea goes and she's like, she ignored me. So, I go and I start knocking on the door. So I'm like, I'm not. Because I'm like, uh-uh. Like, you you, you being childish. Because at first I thought someone died. But now that we figured out that you alive, you need to stop get come out of this dressing room. Like, you doing too much now. Like, you've been in this dressing room for 40 minutes. Like, come on. Like, you're being inconsiderate. So I go and I start knocking on the door. And she's like, yes. Like, she said yes. Like, like. Like, 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 we knocking at her bedroom door. Bitch, this is a public dressing room. Get your, get, get, get your butt out of there. I knock on the door. She like, yes. So I said, excuse me, mind you, we're being nice. Like, we're not being rude. We're not, how much longer? Like, we're not yelling nothing, y'all. So I said, excuse me, how much longer do you think you have in there? She's like, I'm, I don't know. I'm about to come out soon. So I'm like, okay. So I walked off. So we just, me and Chelsea were giggling. Like, we're just laughing, y'all. We're not even laughing at her. We're just laughing at the whole situation. Because like I said, y'all, we thought 
something wasn't right. Like, we dead ass thought that this girl passed out. We thought, like, we were making jokes like, I thought this bitch died. Like, you know what I mean? Like, not on no funny shit. We thought something happened. Because it took a while before this girl finally said yes. And most of the time, like I said before, most of the people that be in that room, most of the people that be in, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, in that room, you can literally see their silhouette through the, through that, through the window. The fact that we couldn't see nothing, like, it was giving something happened and, and, and the person wasn't responding. You know what I mean? So, we were just laughing. So, at this point, me and Chelsea, we wait another five minutes. Finally, after a good 50 minutes, 50 minutes, y'all. And I know, I know, I know. We could have just went home. I know we could have just went home. But you know when you're with your friend and you're talking and y'all like, you know, you know when you're talking to your friend and stuff, time go by faster than usual and you want to do something and you want to get somewhere. You know, y'all you, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. After a good 50 minutes that went by, the girl comes out the room. I, I, as the girl is coming out, I'm going to give you guys a description to this girl. This girl is a white girl. She's not just your ordinary white girl. She is one of them white girls that are very, um, you can tell that she is intertwined with the black culture, if I do say so myself. She has tattoos all over her body. The party next door say, tattoos from your neck that drop down to your ankles. Yeah, that was her. She has short curly hair. Um, she has piercings all over her face and her body. She has this tight ass outfit on and she was a pretty girl. She was a pretty girl and she had a black scent. Yep, y'all, she had a black accent. Yep, and she was a white girl. So she comes out the restroom. Mind you, when she comes out, we're not even paying her no mind. Like I glanced at her and then I just looked at Chelsea and I'm like, do you want to go in first or do you want me to go in? Like we're just we're just talking to each other about who, who can go in because you didn't you didn't had us sitting here for 50 minutes now we're not even worried about you anymore we just worried about who can go in so as chelsea is getting ready to tell me whether she wants me to go in or whether she wants to go in the girl comes out the restroom and she's like y'all fucking childish hey me and whole me now, i ain't gonna lie i am childish i, I ain't even gonna hold you you know what i mean I'm not even going to hold you. I am kind of childish. But bitch, you don't know me, so how you know I'm childish? Like, what's really tea? Like, what's going on? So I'm looking, like, my job. When she said that, I'm not even mad or nothing. Like, I'm actually shocked that she said something to us. Like, it should really be us calling her childish, not the other way around. You know what I mean? So when she said it, we kind of looked at her like, me and Chelsea, because mind you, me and Chelsea, we're talking to each other. And all we hear is, y'all fucking childish. Me and Chelsea go from talking to each other to just looking up at her like, so I'm like, what? So then she said, y'all fucking childish. Y'all heard me? Y'all fucking childish. So I was like, how we childish? She's like, the fuck? She said, y'all see all these other dressing rooms in there. Y'all want to come knocking at this door when y'all see all these other dressing rooms in here are open. Y'all want to come be knocking at the door. Then when y'all was knocking at the door, I heard y'all over there snickering and laughing and shit. What the fuck is funny? Ain't shit funny? Y'all, bitch, I bursted out laughing. Because, bitch, if you thought I was laughing back then, Bitch, you about to see me laugh now because, bitch, you just became Dave Chappelle. And, bitch, I'm at a motherfucking comedy show. You're Dave Chappelle and I find you funny. <gasps> bitch, I don't give a fuck whether you thought that it was funny, whether it wasn't funny, or whether it was funny, or whether it wasn't funny, whether it was funny, or whether it wasn't funny. I laughed because it was funny. You can't control my laughter. You sat your ass in the room, in a, in a dressing room, a dressing room. You sat your ass in a dressing room for damn near an hour. You want to come and regulate my laugh? Girl, out of here. But at this point, y'all, I just start laughing. Like, when I tell y'all, I just start laughing. Now, mind you, I'm not even, like, laughing on some, like, to, to make her mad, y'all. I dead ass thought the shit was funny because I'm like, it's no way that you finna come. Mind you, if this girl... Uh, let me just say this had this girl come out of that dressing room and not said anything to us and just walked out we wasn't gonna say nothing to her we probably was gonna talk shit amongst each other but we were not gonna say nothing to her directly because when she was in that room 
she wasn't really being rude. The only thing, the, her tone was rude, but she didn't really say anything rude to us, if you get what I mean. So there was really nothing for us to say to her. But for you to come out the room and make it seem like it's us that's at fault is mad crazy. So I just get the laughing. Like me and Chelsea, we just both laughing. Like we looking at each other and we laughing. Like we're literally like, me and Chelsea are childish. Like pretend like, I'm, I know I'm holding air right now. I'm holding air right now. I'm holding air. But like pretend I'm holding like I'm holding something. Me and Chelsea are literally like holding each other and going like this. <laughs> We're childish, y'all. So she's just standing. Like she's just standing. She's like, y'all fucking childish. Like she's like, look at y'all. Fucking childish. Fucking childish. Y'all want to sit up here. She said, I'm over here thinking that all the dressing rooms are full. But mind you, she got this accent, y'all. Like this thick ass accent. This girl does not have a white, a white, like she, like she, the only, the only thing that's white about this girl is her skin color. Like this girl was a black girl trapped in a, in a white girl's body. This girl was black, bro. She was like, y'all fucking childish. Look at y'all. Y'all fucking childish. Look at how y'all laughing. So we get the laughing. Like, mind you, me and Chelsea, we're laughing. Like, <laughs> we're laughing. Like, we're literally pushing each other. And I said, ha, ha, ha. Because it's like, bitch, I found it funny. Like, and what you gonna do about it? Like, huh? Like, is somebody gonna press me here? Like, I wanna know. Like, is somebody gonna press me here? Because if somebody is, I want, I wanna do, I want it to happen now. Like, what? So, she's like, childish. Childish as fuck. Childish as fuck. So, at this point, um, uh, I'm like, anyways, mind you, I'm not even trying to argue with this girl for real, y'all. Like, cause I, like, the thing is, I stay in my weight class for the most part. Like, I stay in my weight class. Like, if I know that I can beat you up, I'm not even really finna argue with you unless, like, it's something detrimental. Like, unless you disrespected me to the highest degree. If you disrespected me to the highest degree, then I don't care about how much you weigh no more. But if it's something childish and, 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 and just, just very, uh, like just very mediocre like this I'm not gonna fight with you and argue with you like I'm not gonna do all that right but at the same time you only got so many times to keep popping it in front of my face before I pop it back you know what I mean you only have a certain amount of times to keep popping it before I'm like what's up like what, what you trying to do you know what I mean but because like I said before this girl was small and because she was like just small like I was like and, and not even just the fact that she was small it just wasn't that deep like it just wasn't that deep me and Chelsea thought it was funny like she was so angry y'all like when I tell you she was so angry she was so angry we weren't angry like we were laughing we thought the shit was funny so because we didn't thought the shit was funny I'm just looking like girl whatever like child whatever like who care what you gotta say right so I'm like, anyways, like I did like that because I'm like, girl, like, girl, move around, like, move around, like, okay, cool, we're childish, next, like, move around. So I'm like, anyways, Chelsea, do you want to go in there or do you want to go inside there first or do you want me to go, like, I'm still talking to her. So Chelsea, like, girl, you can go, like, we just having a conversation outside of her. Mind you, while we're talking to each other, she's still talking to us and she she's on the phone too, like, you can tell she's on the phone because she's like this and she's like, so, yeah, like, childish childish like she just keeps saying we're childish so i end up going inside um the dressing room and i'm taking my video and she still she starts talking to chelsea like i can hear her i can't really hear what she's saying but i can just hear her talking to chelsea like she just like i could just hear her like talking to chelsea and i can hear chelsea talking back to her like basically saying like girl move around like you doing too much like move around you while she talking to chelsea I'm just like, bro, get over it. Like, you were in this room for damn near an hour. That is ridiculous. You're not supposed to be in the dressing room of the gym, of the gym girl, ladies locker room for an hour. Like, what are you even doing in here? Like, get over it. You're mad for what? We weren't even going to say anything to you. Why are you saying something to us? Like, get over it. So she's just talking to Chelsea. Mind you, I'm just taking my pictures. So I end up taking my pictures. And then um, Chelsea is just like looking like, girl, bye. Like, Chelsea's just looking like, so then, um, she, uh, Chelsea goes and she, she's like, all right, anyways, like she says anyways to the girl, like basically telling the girl, like, girl, move around. So she says, anyways, Irene, are you done taking your pictures? I'm like, yeah, I'm done. So then Chelsea goes to take her pictures. So I'm laughing. Like, I'm just looking like, I'm looking and I'm laughing and I'm just sitting on a bench and I'm laughing and the girl is still talking to me. So I guess because Chelsea went into the locker room to take her pictures, the girl decides that she's going to come now and start talking to me. No, you're not. You're not going to keep talking to me. I'm not Chelsea. 
You're not gonna keep talking to me. I can only laugh so much before I start slapping bitches in this bitch. So stop talking to me. So at this point, she's like childish, childish. Look at you, childish. Like she's standing above me, childish. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like at this point, y'all, I just start screaming because bitch, yeah, I'm childish. Ha ha, I'm childish. Call me childish. I'm like, yeah. Yep, yep, childish, mm-hmm, childish, mm-hmm. So she was like, you don't even know what the f I was going through in there. I said, what were you going through? Because at this point, y'all, like, I'm yelling. Because it's like, why are you yelling at me? Like, she starts yelling. So I'm like, what were you going through? What were you going through? This girl talking about she on her period and her stomach hurt. And she was cramping. And that's the reason why she was sitting in there. Y'all, did I not tell y'all? That there were benches. Why would you sit in the handicap dressing room, the biggest dressing room, where all the girls take their pictures for an hour? Because you're on your period and you're cramping. Take your bloody ass home. Go home. Or if you don't want to go home, come and sit on one of these benches out here. But why would you sit inside the dressing room, the biggest dressing room, for an hour and then get mad because we was knocking on the door? Like, what, what sense are you making? Then on top of that, nobody was even mad or was even going to say anything to you about it. Like... We were not going to say nothing to you about sitting in there for an hour or nothing. You have the audacity to come and confront us for laughing. That was like her main issue, y'all. If, if I want to reemphasize that. Her main issue with us was the fact that we were laughing. She kept saying it over and over again. She kept saying we're childish as fuck. She heard us laughing at her. This is and that. Like she kept reemphasizing that over and over again. And I'm like, and then you mad because we laughing? Like you like like I'm like are, are we really talking about this right now? And the thing is I try to ignore you. You know what I mean? I just continue to laugh. I keep saying like anyways, like anyways, I like, basically shooing you away. And you want to keep arguing and you want to keep escalating this situation. You want to keep getting loud to the point where everybody is looking. Because mind you, people in the coming inside the locker room. So everybody is starting to look at us and everybody is asking what's going on. Like you just trying to cause a scene for what? So it's like if you want to cause a scene, we're going to make a scene. And I told her that like everything I'm telling y'all is what I told her. So she's just talking like she's like, I don't care. Like, I don't care. You don't tell me what to do. She said, you don't tell me to uh to come and sit at the locker room or you don't tell me where to sit i sit where i want to sit i said and you don't tell me to laugh what like what are we talking about like you don't tell me to laugh so she goes and she ends up sitting at one of the benches like that's away from us like she sits well basically where she sat at i could no longer see her like there was a big wall that was separating us but i could hear her on the phone with her friend like her friend was talking i couldn't hear what her friend was saying but her friend was talking so She's basically telling her friend what happened. At this point now, Chelsea ends up coming out and Chelsea comes from the restroom and I'm telling Chelsea what happened because Chelsea's like, she's still going on. I'm like, yes, she's still going on talking about that she on her period and stuff like that. Like I said, if you on your period, take your ass home. Like <laughs> I'm just talking. I'm mad, y'all, because it's like you did too much. Like you got everybody in this locker room looking at us. Mind you, this locker room was packed this night. Like everybody was looking at us like we was crazy. You know, I'm like, take your take your ass home. Like you doing too damn much for my liking. Like take your ass home if if you really feel like. You really sick and stuff. Why the hell is you sitting in the locker room? Then on top of that, when people knocking at the door, mind you, I asked her that too. I said, then on top of that, when people knocking at the door, you over there ignoring. I said, the, the least that you could have done is that you could have at the very least been like, hey, I'm in here. I'll be out in 10 minutes. That's the least that you could have done. I said, but you sitting up there, you ignoring and shit. And then you wondering why we laughing. We laughing because we, we think, we think, we, 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 we thinking that this shit is a joke like what's going on in here you know what i mean and you and you over here talk about some oh why didn't y'all go to the other rooms i said and why did i told her straight up i said and why didn't you take your bitch ass to one of the other smaller dressing rooms to sit in because you were cramping why did you choose the biggest room of all where everybody takes their pictures at to do that like why did you do that so me and chelsea we're just talking about it 
out of nowhere and and i don't like people who don't know how to mind their business i don't like people who don't know how to mind their business i don't like it i don't like it I don't like it mind you I forgot to add this when she went to go sit over there at that bench she started crying she started crying and that pissed me off badly that pissed me off badly because you started this and when I was trying to shoo you away because in the beginning when she kept yelling calling us fucking childish when she kept saying y'all are fucking childish look at y'all fucking childs fucking childs over and over again I kept saying anyways anyways like I'm trying to shoo you away type shit so like you know because I know I know how um how aggressive and how um I just know how 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 dirty I can get. I'm not trying to go there with you because I know that if I go there with you, I'm going to hurt your feelings. So me, I'm saying anyways, anyways, to kind of just try to make you go away. You know what I mean? Or make the situation just go away. But you still trying to poke at it. I go inside to take my pictures. Then you start arguing with Chelsea. I come out. I come out. Then you decide that you're going to start arguing with me again no buki like nah like it don't work like that like i'm gonna only give you so many chances before i start going off on you so that time period that when we started getting into it and yelling at each other when, when uh the second time when, when when chelsea went into the locker to take her picture and me and her started screaming at each other she started crying because i went off on her ass like when i tell y'all i went off on her i said take your bloody ass home like <laughs> I'm childish. I'm acting like I don't have a period once a month too. I said then take your bloody ass home. I said that if you don't feel good, take your ass home. I said why the hell is you even at the gym if you don't feel good? Like what are you even doing in the gym if you don't feel good? I'm gonna sit out on one of these benches, but don't hog the dressing room because you don't feel good. One of these two African girls, which pissed me off so fucking badly, because why the hell are you on her side? You supposed to be on our side. And that's the problem with black people. Black people don't stick together. We just, we just don't stick together. Because how can you guys look at me and look at the white girl and then go take her side? Like, that don't even make sense. And then, first of all, why are y'all even taking anybody's side to begin with? Mind your business. But if you're going to take anybody's side, why would you take her side? Because she crying? Have y'all never heard of white women tears? Oh, and I know somebody, some, there's some, I have some white supporters that get mad whenever I say white woman tears, but y'all, it's just the God honest truth. Like it's a history of white woman tears. It's the God honest truth of white woman tears. It's a history behind when white women cry, shit goes to shambles and whoever they're crying about gets in trouble. You know what I mean? Cause their tears hold more weight than any other person in this universe. She starts crying or whatnot. These black girls come up to, mind you, at this point, I'm not talking about the situation no more. Like, I'm just mad. Chelsea's not talking about it. We're just looking confused. Like, we're, like everybody's just speechless, right? These black girls come up to her and say, it's okay. It's okay. We saw everything. They're in the wrong. Ignore them. People like that are very childish. People like that don't prosper in life. They're very childish. It's okay. Just ignore them. Those girls are childish. What? My jaw. They did not see everything. They're liars. They came in when we started arguing with each other. They did not see everything. Them girls were not sitting in a locker room with us from the beginning 50 minutes ago. You're liars. Y'all didn't see everything. Because if you saw everything, you would see that she was in the wrong. So for y'all to go to this girl and co-sign this girl and validate her in her in her in her, in her 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 irrelevant feelings. When this girl started with us, it's crazy. To go up to this girl and say people like that never prospered, they're in the wrong, it's crazy. So y'all, when they said that, after they said that, I said, Chelsea, do you hear that? Because mind y'all, like I told y'all before, there's a wall that, that separates us from being able to see them on the other side. But we saw the African girls pass, like they basically 
passed us up from afar over there and they me mugged us before they told her that like i seen them me mug me like they literally looked at me like and then they walked to her and i was looking mind you when they were me mugged me i'm like fuck who, who is that like who's looking at me like that but i'm like maybe i'm just mad and i'm just mad at everything but then right after they me mugged me they went and told her that like i heard them and then i said chelsea did you hear that but chelsea didn't hear that and i'm like she's like what and i said those African girls just took her side. And Chelsea's like, what? And I'm like, yeah. So then Chelsea was like, what did they say? Right when I get ready to tell Chelsea what they say, all you hear is, you see, you see, even they said you're wrong. You're fucking wrong. Hey. Oh, baby, you lost your mind. You've lost your mind. And I'm going to help you find it. I'm gonna help you find it. I'm gonna help you find it. You've lost your mind, and I'm gonna help you find it. Okay, come on, let's go find it. Come on, come on, let's go find it. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I ran over there and I got in her face and I put my hand so, like, when I tell you, I put my hand so close to her face. Bitch, I could have touched her face. And I screamed at her to the top of my lungs. And I said, bitch, say something else and I'm going to put you down. Mind you, I'm just saying it in a calm voice because it's, like I said, it's now 5 o'clock in the morning. I don't have the energy to yell. But I said it in a loud voice to the point where everybody in that locker room just stopped and stared. And I said, bitch, say something. I dare you. I said, say something else. I said, I'm going to beat your ass right here. I said that. I, but when I tell y'all, I got so angry. I got so angry. Because it's like, shut your ass up. Like, don't let these African girls get you beat up. Don't let them get you beat up. So I'm just going off. And I was like, I don't give a fuck what they said. Like, y'all... Y'all, I'm just going off. I'm like, I don't give a fuck what they said. Fuck what they said, nigga. It's what I said. I was going off, y'all. Like, I was going off. I said, it's what I said. It's not what they said, nigga. I'm always right. I said, say one more thing. Say one more thing. I dare you to. Like, I'm, y'all, I'm heated. Y'all, I'm angry. Like, you know when you try your best to be calm with somebody and they just keep pressing, 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 pressing. Like, even when the African girls came and made the, the comments, I wasn't going to go argue with the African girls and be like, she's wrong. We're right. I wasn't going to say nothing to them. I wasn't even going to go argue with her and say that she was wrong. I was just going to let everybody be. All I was just going to do was just tell Chelsea. Like, I and mind you, I wasn't even loud when I was saying it. Like, I was like, Chelsea, like, did you hear that? Those African girls were defending. Like, I was talking like, you know how you just talk to your friend. I wasn't going to say nothing. Like, I wanted the situation to be dead. It. I wanted us to get up and leave. Like, shut the hell up. Stop talking to me. Stop yelling at me. Like, I told your ass several times to watch up. Mind you, when she was yelling at me the first time, I told her. Because she started yelling at me first the first time we yelled at each other. I told her, I said, watch your tone around me. Like, watch your tone around me. Because, like, me, I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't raise my tone when I get mad. I do. But this situation was not, like, it didn't cause for it. Like, it really didn't. Like, it didn't cause for all this. So, I'm like, hey, raise your tone. Like, don't raise your tone when you at me. For real. So, she raised it again, like, to yell and say, you see? that Like, all that. Like, girl, don't do that. Like, don't do that. So, at this point, y'all, she's, like, she's just, like, she's sitting down. I'm standing above her. And I'm like, say it. I dare it. Say it. Say one more word. Say one more word. Mind you, her phone is in her lap and she's on FaceTime. Like, as I'm looking down, I can see somebody on the FaceTime call. Like, it looks like it's one of her friends or something. It's looking like, like, looking like shocked. So, Chelsea at this point is trying to pull me back. Like, she's like, hey, chill, Irene. Like, chill, don't do not do it. Like, it's not worth it. And, like, Chelsea, like, tries to, like, hold on to my shoulder. I damn near, like, chuck Chelsea's shoulder, like, chuck Chelsea's hand to the point where Chelsea was like, whoa. Like, I hit Chelsea's hand so badly with my shoulder. Not on no, like, not on purpose or nothing. But I was just so angry with her. Because I'm like, girl, this is what you wanted. So, now I'm going to give it to you. Like, say one more thing and see what will happen to you. Say one more thing and see what will happen to you. Like, I'm so sick and tired of you talking. Please shut up. 
So Chelsea at this point, she don't even touch me no more. I know in her head, she like, uh -uh, I'm not touching this girl no more for she hurt my hand. Because the way I yanked my shoulder, like I know, because even Chelsea said it later on, she was like, girl, you like, you yank, you, you yanked your shoulder hard. Like you, you damn near hurt my hand. Cause I was just so angry at that girl. Like stop talking for real. So at this point, the girl's just quiet. And I was like, that's what I fucking thought. Like, <laughs> like I just said that so after I said that she just quiet like she didn't say nothing she she didn't say nothing at all so I'm so I grab my I grab my bags and we walk out the room y'all and when I tell you when we walked out that locker room everybody that was outside was looking into the girls restroom like everybody was trying to like look in like everyone was like going like that <laughs> that's how loud I was y'all the motherfucker the guys were looking in like they were like like they were trying to see what was going on and I'm just going off I'm like that bitch stupid bitch like I'm just getting mad like I'm so angry because it's like I gave you so many chances to shut up and you just keep talking like shut up like shut up shut up shut up <laughs> so yeah y'all that's what happened after that I never spoke to her again she never spoke to me again um I seen her at the gym I see her at the gym. Um, I haven't seen her in a while, not gonna lie. And she kind of got thick. She got thick. She a cute white girl. Like, she's a cute white girl. I'm not gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna hold you. You know the funny thing? The first day that I saw her, because I saw this girl before me and her got into that big fight. The first day that I saw her, I was like, oh, she cute. Like, she's a cute white girl. Um, but yeah, after that, she never spoke to me again. Um, she doesn't talk to me. She doesn't look my way. I don't look her way. Like, every, it's like we just never spoke to each other again. Um, yeah, like, I see her at the gym every once in a while. I haven't seen her at the gym in a long time. I'm not gonna lie. She got thicker. Like, her ass got bigger. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, she got bigger. Even Chelsea Pete. Chelsea was like, Irene, did she get bigger? I'm like, yeah, she got bigger. She looks good. But yeah, like she she fucked around and found out that day like i don't know if she thought because because i'm gonna be real with y'all when she was screaming and calling us fucking childs and all this i wasn't really yelling back like i was just laughing and i don't know whether she thought that that was like me being scary or what but that was really just me just trying to spare her that wasn't me being scary or nothing that was me just trying to spare her and that was me trying to avoid an argument or a fight but I don't know whether she thought that like oh this girl's scary this no baby I'm not scary like I would really like I would tear your ass up like all jokes aside like I would really tear you up like don't play with me and then literally like I think like two months ago I found her OnlyFans so yeah she got an OnlyFans <laughs> Yeah, y'all, that's the story time. That's the little story time. I have more gym story times. So y'all definitely be on the lookout or whatnot. And yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel. Y'all let me know y'all opinions on the situation. And yeah, y'all y'all let me know y'all opinions. I know y'all, I know it's going to be a 50-50. Y'all either going to be on my side or not with this story time. But yeah, yeah. I got more story times on that locker room. So <laughs> If y'all want to hear them story times, please give me a thumbs up. I love you guys, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all. If you are not subscribed, what are you doing? Because I was about to leave. I'm not going to lie. I was about to leave. But I have to say it again for the people who have forgot. If you are not subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe to your girl. You're going to love it here. And honestly, y'all, I'm going to be real with y'all. I am literally, like, rearranging my channel i am going to be getting better edits on my channel i'm going to be bringing in newer content on my channel so if you ever had to think about subscribing now is the time to really subscribe because your girl is about to be giving you guys new content on this channel so definitely 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 subscribe to the channel it's fun over here you'll love it over here and yeah i love you guys Mwah.